Hey everybody, Arco here. Welcome to the grand finals of the Sudden Death 1v1 tournament. Uh, season 2, hosted in the GM Arena server. We finally have all our weeks, all our bye weeks done. And let's see, we are going first. And our opponent in the grand finals is none other than Parlox, the host of the tournament himself. Uh, let's see... Interesting blizzards to make that a little interesting. I think we'll start with the one point dead end. So it's been a few weeks since the last time we played one of these sets. Due to the other bracket catching up. But game one will be Nanmadal World Dom Stable Portals. Game two is France Caps. Game three is Dicey Trajectories World Dom with Stable Portals. Uh, Brazil Caps. And then Jules Verne World Dom. Our wonderful <laughs> favorite <laughs> favorite World Dom Jules Verne settings are game five. So we'll see if it gets to that point. We'll pick over here. Here's a good spot for that area. Let's see. I think over here should be okay. And now we'll try over here.
we'll try this way. Already, Parlox has a lot of potential hiding spots. When I faced him earlier in the tournament on these settings, I did mention that these one, these Nanmadal settings are Parlox's favorite. So we'll see if we can upset him again on these. Going in that middle spot isn't too, too bad. Played Parlock's gonna be a 
Fun little guessing game now. Ah, go there, there, probably. Deck isn't fully open. Hmm. Yeah, well played. Well played. It's definitely open now. Ah, shit, I didn't fortify in time, no! Ah, I needed to move that 13 over. Crap. Ah, and he's gonna leave it locked now. Dang. Dang, dang, dang.
doesn't own anything else. Okay, now he goes for territory, and I gotta break two bonuses. And he knows my three's still there, so he doesn't do that three on one. Forget about the middle? Yes, he forgot about the middle. He forgot about the middle. Uh, let's see. This. Oh. Okay, he left. Alright. Man, I played that badly. <laughs> Holy crap, I played that badly. If I didn't have the set on three and or he didn't forget about the bonus, I may have been in trouble. Uh, yeah, shit. Okay, well, got lucky with that one. Moving on to game number two, I guess. Alright, game number two. Moving on to France Caps now. Okay, we're going first again. And we have this one point hold threat. Nice. <laughs> so we will go for it. We'll go down here. There should be fine.
Interesting. Interesting choices from Parlox here. I'm interested to see his counter here. Force him to pick that spot. Go pick that spot there. All right, possible counters. He could go here, 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 probably. One of these three is my guess. Okay, he doesn't put any back there.
four on two loses. <clears throat> now he's going to try and hold both of these. With an eight cap. Oh, shit. Okay. Well played, Parlox. Two on that. Wow. Ah. that and lost one on there yeah well played ah dang I fortified a bit too much off of the top for sure but yeah he already had that counter in mind yeah, did not see that coming. Well played, Parlox. Moving on to game number three. Alright, game number three on to Dicey Trajectories. Playing pretty poorly so far. Alright, we go first for a third time in a row. Which means the last two games I have to go second. Uh, where do I want to start? I think yours is still standard. I want to see which of these he picks. Okay, there. I think we'll go here. Force him to choose the middle.
does go over there instead. All right, we'll force him to choose the portal then.
<laughs> uh, I'll just keep going over here. going parallax I'll predict in the top left. Nah, I went in the middle. Uh, let's see. Lost five on that too. And lost nothing on the two. Well played. Dodge the predict. And he got it.
lost lost three on that. And not great. Not great. No said, and he's getting seven. This should be game. Dang. Let's make it easier for him. And I think that's no set on four as well. Oh, man. Yeah, he went in the middle. I predicted top left, but he went middle, so that was well played. Yeah. Game two is more of a mess up by me, but game three here, he definitely earned. So now this means I have to win both times going second. All right, attempt number six on the restart counter for the actual game number four. <clears throat> hey, there it is. Where does Parlox go here? Yeah, it figures. corner while I can.
Eh, I think we still go there. Where does he keep? Right in front of me. Okay. Ooh, 11 on 9 could have failed, but it did not. Nice. Try this. Nice! <laughs> Three on one failed. Let's go. Okay. No! <laughs> Not the cap! Oh! <laughs> what is going on? Holy shit. Whew. Okay, <laughs> we stole this one. We have a shot. We have a shot at Jules Verne. We... <laughs> oh, my God. Only the highest quality of games in the finals. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> let's see if we can pull it off. And Jules Verne going second. All right, game number five. <laughs> I think this is attempt number seven overall. On the restart counter, maybe eight. There we go. Okay. Blizzards don't give player one too much of an advantage, so this is pretty good overall. Interesting. It goes there. I'll go there while I still can.
Okay, he goes down there. That makes sense. Take this spot down here. Since this blizzard makes this a two point spot and is also connected to the, or less connected to the middle through that C lane. Yeah, I've been I've been liking uh iron beds over granite house for whatever reason. A lot lately, so I think I'll just go there instead, or do I take this still? Yeah, I'll try it. Huh, he doesn't take either. Yeah, let's take both. <laughs> uh, strategic thought out the window. Hmm. Strategic thought out the window? <laughs> <laughs> He's thinking about whether he actually wants to give that to me or not. He does. Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh. This game is quite something. So I think I've explained this terrible strat many rounds of this tournament, but I'll <laughs> say it again. So the point of me doing this is purely a luck-based tactic of now, instead of him rolling a 27v22, assuming I have to stack where he can't break the bonus and hit my stack. So instead of a 27 v 22 it's now it'll be a 24 v 22 unless he goes risky with a three on one to break then it'll be a 25 on 22 either way it's a play that like purely lowers the odds to where it's not quite a pure coin flip but pretty much maybe like 60 40 in his favor 55 45 depending on the layout etc instead of the 97% I think is the correct prediction 27 on 22 if I'm remembering correctly for balanced blitz I don't know it's a <laughs> it's a terrible tactic that I just can't seem to get enough of for whatever reason Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll 
go here. Oh, this is so dumb. <laughs> Why am I doing this tactic in the final? I can't help myself. <laughs> it's such a shitty move. Uh... I'm even telegraphing. I'm going to stack in the bottom right. Here we go. Wait, what? He didn't go for it. Wait, he didn't go for the stack hit. I thought he'd go in, what's this called? Uh, Fen. Holy shit, okay, so it's gonna come down to dice. Okay, he has a two there. there. Three there. Six. Three, three, two, six. Yes, got it. <laughs> okay. That did knock him under. Wait, did Parlox... Did he forget about that? No. Ah, oh, darn, he got it. Okay. This all goes here. Thank you. 
block that side. You can break through the middle, of course, but I think I'm slightly ahead at the moment. If you've missed that two-on-one up there, it was game over. No way he's going to rely on a four-on-one to break both here. Okay, yeah. Ooh. Okay, he won the four on two, but then lost a troop. Set on three. Okay, Parlock sets in. Nice, that fails. That's huge, actually. Then he lost two. Damn, that's a huge two on one that he just won there. Ah, shit. Need to go all here. Whew. Come on, yes! This is really huge. He only gets six still he only gets six instead of five and i have to force him to break oh and he gets bad dice here do we have a set we have no set come on gabe oh man uh let's see think the best option is to just retake some of this back. Force him to stay up here. And then I'm not gonna risk the three on one, two on one. And he lost two on the three again, that's good. Serpents, where's serpents? At the bottom, okay. Damn. So close. Okay, no set on three. We don't either. We have 24 territories. Nice, and he lost that two on one. 
This is a huge amount of troops. Nice. And we have the set, but we don't need it. Because Parlox would have the set and we win the flippin' series off of this. Oh my god. We win five points to four. And we win the tournament off of a series that I played honestly pretty crappy. <laughs> For the first half, at least. The first half was pretty bad. Oh my god. Alright, well, <laughs> that's... <laughs> That's the end of the second season Sudden Death Tournament. We would we beat Parlox for a second time in the tournament, this time five to four. And points. Or three games to two. Oh man. It's nice to get a uh, another one V one win under my belt. This time um the, it'll be the first this is actually the first time that I won a 1v1 where all the settings are balanced blitz. The couple others in the past is usually one of the games is true random slash river towns involved. But here, it's <laughs> it's supposedly more competitive settings. And even though I played pretty badly, I still able to luck out the win here. But yeah. So GG's Parlox. And I'm not sure when the next 1v1... Uh, or major 1v1 tournament is. It might be a little while, but there'll be... Uh, I know Johans is still going on for the whole year, so there'll be those from time to time, like once a month. I think I'm putting them up right now, but yeah. All right, well, that's awesome. Other tournaments still to come soon, of course. Uh, GG's once again to all of our opponents. Man, until next time, everybody, take care, and cheers for stopping by.